All right. Looks like I'm back again. Sorry about that. Start my computer. Oh, let me turn my volume down so I don't have an echo here. So um, I was coloring with the Arteza, Arteza watercolor pencils. And when I first heard about these pencils, I watched Nancy from Nancy Stamps do several different cards with these pencils. And, you know, I thought, those look so nice. I definitely want to try those. Well, my success rate was not very good with this um, medium. And then I finally figured something out. And what I mean was my success rate wasn't very good was I feel as if I was pressing down too hard when I was trying to uh, stamp. So there would be some areas that were light and some areas that were dark. So then it hit me and it, and this is why I'm finally making this a live video and doing it. I think this, it finally hit me that for this, you don't have to press very hard to get the color to fill the area. It's a light touch. I'm used to using colored pencils and just really, really, hey, hey, Lisa, welcome back again. I'm used to using colored pencils and really hard to get, and you don't have to do that with these. You do not have to press hard. Um, the lighter the touch, the better. And I figure if it doesn't give me the brilliant and vibrant color that I'm hoping for the first time, I can always go back in. I can dry it with my heat gun and then try again. But for the first go around, the lighter, the better. So right now, like I said, I'm just following what is on the manufacturer's stamp, and I'm just going to uh, color these windows in and use some brown. This color is called Burnt Ochre. It is number 113 in the pack. Just that and then go in with my spring green. This is the color that I have predominantly been using throughout all of my foliage. So while I was offline and rebooting my computer, I went and I started coloring some of the because I figured that would be a little bit of a time saver. All right. So I have um, Brutus Monroe water brush pen and I'm going to start at the bottom of the card and you can see that when the water makes contact with the colored in, it really brightens it up. And you can actually see when I go off the paper a little bit. Whoops, hold on. Let me get in frame here, folks. Sorry about that. Okay, um, it's just a really nice medium. And that I did in green. And then a little bit further up, I used some uh, darker brown to signify the wood on the side. And also we have a tree here. So I'm going to first, and I'm just going to have that watercolor pencil fill in here with the wet. Basically all you have to do is just, you don't have to have a heavy hand. You don't have to apply a whole lot of water down. Watercolor paper, this is Canson cold press watercolor paper. But I'm really pleased that I am able to do this video today. Um, really pleased to be able to watercoloring. Um, I'm glad that I heard about these. Right now I'm just watercoloring some of the foliage that I colored in with the Arteza watercolor pencils. Glad that I heard about these and a lot of people seem to be getting them and doing videos with them. So I thought I would give it a try. Hey, Tracy. Oh, how are you? So it's very nice of you to jump on the live. I've been having difficulty, you know, knock on wood. Hopefully this will work today. I've been having difficulty with my internet connection. So it's been a while since I've been able to do a live. I'm hoping to be able to do video uploads and lives more, but when you don't have a good internet connection, Really, it's not up to you so much. I tell you, the other night I sat down to make some videos 
and they would not upload. They wouldn't. I was able to record them on my iPhone, which has better quality than this webcam, but I couldn't for the life of me get them to upload. So I figured today there, there is a video that I want to record after I do this live and, and have it upload later. And if I have to, then I'll just go somewhere that has high speed internet and upload it because, um, it's not a problem recording it. It's just a problem uh, getting it to cooperate with my poor internet connection. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a, um, I guess you could say the, the brown and the reds kind of smearing together here, but that's okay with me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wondered, Tracy, how your work went this year and how everything went with tax season. And uh, I know that you were very busy working very long hours. I don't know how you do it because I've had a very um, hectic week myself this week. And by the end of the day, when I came home, I was totally beat. I didn't really have, yeah, I didn't have any energy to do much else. But um, yeah, I'm sure. I have a friend who um, does tax paperwork and she's always really busy around tax season to the max. <laughs> All right, so let's go down here and I'm just um, going to hopefully get some of this gray to show up. This stone wall is gray. Okay, and then this part is brown. Oh, your father-in-law is a tax attorney. Oh my goodness. So it's a family business then, right? I used a little bit of yellow for this road. So I don't know. I just, I got, I was getting tired of all the brown. And I, I, I see it as a dirt road. So I think that yellow is okay. Oh, I bet he is. He probably can keep you up to date on all the new regulations. Okay, so you work in a CPA firm. You're an accountant. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Yeah, the secret is do not use a heavy hand with these. Do not press hard, which I'm a heavy-handed crafter. So that was a lesson for me. That was definitely something that I had to really learn. And I had to learn it the hard way. I mean, I had to make multiple tries of this card before I could understand that the problem wasn't with the watercolor pencils. The problem was with the person who was using them and was pressing down so hard. You should do that. It, 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 the way that these are formulated, color lifts up very very nicely. And then I just put some gray here in the roof and some darker gray on the awning underneath. So, um, the, okay, yeah, I have to do my little window underneath here. Thanks, you guys. Thank you very much. And I'm going to get my window watercolored here. And the brown wood and then the green foliage inside. So, um, so to me, when I look at the card that the company has on their merchandise packaging and look at mine, mine's a lot lighter in color. So I'm going to hit it with a heat gun and try to go over it again lightly, lightly being the word. I am not going to press hard. Okay, Tracy. Well, Lisa said she has the same set. Um, I'm using the, hold on a second, let me plug in my heat gun. I'm using the Arteza watercolor pencils. Not sure if you're familiar with that brand or not. They come in a box like this. My paper is really wet, so I'm going to go off the side here and hit this with the heat gun.
Okay. Sorry if that was really loud. I have a new microphone. I got one of those blue snowball microphones, and I think it really makes a big difference. Last time I went live, I couldn't even hardly hear. Like, I, I played it back just – I don't watch it step by step. I just play it back just to see how it sounds and what it looks like. And what I found was the sound, I felt like I was far away. And of course the video wasn't very good, but that is due to my internet. It's not the webcam's fault. The webcam is clear, but when you have really very slow internet, and I even have high speed internet, but it certainly isn't very speedy. Certainly not at all. But again, that's due to where I live. We just don't have that many options. Okay, Tracy, so you have those too. Well, I hope that you get to play with them. I started using them, or the reason I purchased them was I had these Blue Knight rubber stamps, and I watched Nancy's stamp, and she did a video with the Arteza watercolor pens and how easy they were. And she was so excited, and I thought, well, I need to try those because – if that if that's if I can do cards that look like that, I definitely want to do cards that look like that. And then I got it home and started playing with it. Hi, Belinda, how are you? And I was not getting the same results. I was seeing a lot of lines. I wasn't very happy. Again, it was the operator error. <laughs> it was not the error of the pencils. So on the card panel. Good, Belinda. So glad you could jump on my live. And I'm so happy to be able to be doing a live. It's been a while since I've done one. So on the card panel that they created, this section is colored in red. So we're just going to go in here, again, using a very light touch. I'm actually coloring sideways so that I don't go directly down on it. I find that when I go directly on top of it, I, I have too much of a heavy hand. This is red, and then the back piece back here is red, but I, I'm not going to be able to see the very back piece, so I'm not too worried about that. And then I'll go in here with this espresso color. Okay, you think yours are regular. Okay, these are the these are the watercolor Artezas. Yeah, I have I have lots of other brands of colored pencils. So uh, I didn't bother. I have the Arteza or Arteza, however you say it, the real brush pens. And I like those too. Those are really nice. But I, um, I don't get to use those as often because I find myself reaching for the aqua pigments instead from Brutus Monroe. So Belinda, are you babysitting today? Are you watching any kids today? I think, I think Belinda, if I have you right I think you have several grandchildren that you sometimes help out with. Hopefully I'm not getting that all wrong. And then I don't know if Belinda, you also go to your mom's house and help her out too. I'm trying to keep everybody straight. There's just so many of us. It's wonderful that we meet so many nice people through, um, you know, the YouTube crafters and the different people that craft and do lives. That's what I love about doing the lives is the interaction with people being able to connect with folks, find out what's going on in their life and, you know, find out what they've been up to. This one's almost out of water. Okay. I'm just going to blend this a little bit better here. Okay. Okay. Hey, Belinda. See, I pay attention. <laughs> well, maybe you're getting a break today. Maybe you're not babysitting today. Uh-huh. Yeah. Three girls and a boy that you have for grandchildren. That's, that's wonderful. So my son is away this weekend. He went to scout camp. I don't know if any of you have ever had any boy scouts in your families, but Jacob was selected to be in the Order of the Arrow, which is a scout honor society. And what they have to do is go away camping over the weekend for a weekend, sort of be initiated into the honor society. And that initiation included sleeping out under the stars. But hopefully last night, the 
Boy Scout leaders decided, hopefully, that they weren't going to sleep outside. Okay, you're on your on your way to. Oh, I'm so sorry, Belinda, to hear about the passing of your um, your husband's brother-in-law. That's oh, I'm so sorry. Just be safe, have safe travels, and uh, know that we're thinking about you and your family in this time of need. <clears throat> How long of a drive do you have, Belinda, from where you live to where you need to go? Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So Tracy, you say your oldest son was a scout. Yeah. So Jacob is only 14 and he's the assistant patrol leader. And this initiation into the order of arrow requires them to sleep out stars. But when we dropped him off yesterday, the scout leader said that he was going to ask that they don't sleep under the stars this time because the winds were so strong here last night. Um, and it was so cold, but the, not so much the cold, but the winds, we were, he was concerned that there would be trees that would, the limb fall off the trees and they would like knock people out, you know, I mean, that would be awful. So hopefully that didn't happen. Hopefully they got to, oh my goodness, a nine hour drive. Oh my goodness. Sounds like you're, you know, at the end of it, then we have four hours to go. That's good that you're getting close. Okay. Let me turn this around. One thing about my webcam, it's upside down. I have to color in upside down. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. I don't think there's too many things I would change about it. Um, I'm glad that I was able to go in and apply more red and make this red a little bit brighter. Yeah, I think that really helped it a lot. Um, this section here that's inside the covered bridge, I guess it's to represent the shadow and, you know, how dark it is. But um, I don't know. I just wish that it would show more um, solidly. But it could be the way that my stamp was. One thing I wanted to say about the covered bridges is where my husband lives, where he grew up, not where he lives. Wait a minute. My husband actually does live with me. Ha <laughs> ha. He does not live somewhere else, but he grew up not in the same town I grew up in. But anyways, where, where his family lives, they have two covered bridges and they're red, just like this one in the card. Yes. <laughs> and so um, that is one of the reasons why I wanted to purchase this particular from Blue Knight Rubber Stamp because it reminds me of where he grew up and where his family is all from. So um, I wanted to make some cards with that. Um, let's see here. What I what I would like to do to finish this off, I'm going to have to probably hit it with the heat gun one more time. It's still a little damp on the side. So I'll be right back. Okay, and what I would like to do is adhere um, some green in the background. So I thought that would really um, show off the green of the foliage. And then also that would be our mat. And then also put it on some craft cardstock. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my tape runner. Pardon my reach. Okay, let's get this out of the way. And I'm not sure that I'm going to put a sentiment on this. I've been making some cards without sentiments lately so that I could use it then. Because to me, this card could be a birthday card. It could be a sympathy card. It could be a thank you card. It has many different uses. And so I think I'll just leave it without a sentiment. All right. I'm just going to put the mat green down first. Okay. 
And then we'll put, oh, this is still damp. I can still see a wet spot on there. I'm afraid that if I don't. All right, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to try to get all the water off of this. I mean, all the dampness off this card. Never tried to adhere something with wet spot on it. I'm afraid that it would uh, not stick very well. Okay. All right. Oh my. A tape runner is running low. I have an ATC gun, tape gun, but I can't seem to get to get it to the point where the sorry, I'm gonna have to turn this around so I can see it. I know it's gonna be upside down for you guys. I can't seem to get it where the tape stays on the reel, you know, the reel to reel, how that tape goes. Really, I just, I am challenged by the ATC on the automatic. I think that's what it's called. Um, it's this, yeah, advanced tape glider. Oh boy, what did I just knock over? I just knocked my misty over, but it made a loud noise. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get a close up of this and hopefully... My camera will focus, and you can see how this turns out. And the winds are really blowing hard here, so if my internet looks blurry. I'm sure that has something to do with it. Thank you, Lisa. I think it's rustic. I mean, I wouldn't say that it's very vibrant, but I think it makes for a nice card, and it would make for a nice sympathy card or birthday card. And I would probably put the sentiment on the inside. So Belinda, um, hope you have safe travels the rest of your way. Um, and also to Lisa and Tracy and Belinda, thank you all for joining in and watching my, my live. I'm so excited that I was able to go live again and I'm going to keep trying to go live every day even if it's just for a short period of time. Um, and I figure I'll take my chances um, with the way that my internet is. It might work and it might not work, but I'm going to keep trying. So that's what I have for today. Again, this is um, a really cool stamp from Blue Knight Rubber Stamp. Okay. And um, if you haven't ever purchased anything from them, I think you would be really pleased. They have great products. Yes. If you, Belinda, here's the thing. If you are heavy handed when you color with regular pencils, you have to be very light handed with these. And so that was my issue, but I learned and I think it worked out very well. All right, everybody. Um, we'll catch you the next time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.